hello friends today we will see the trick to find the eigen value of a matrix okay so we'll directly jump to the sum and there only we will see the trick okay we have this matrix and we need to find the eigen value of this matrix we usually used to find the determinant of a minus lambda i matrix so here in this video we are not going to use this method we are going to use the trick so the trick is we have to use this formula lambda cube minus trace of lambda square trace is basically the sum of diagonal elements plus product of each two diagonal elements so two diagonal elements like this this one this two okay then minus product of each two non diagonal element like this minus 6 into 1 minus 6 into minus 1 minus 11 into 6 like this then minus determinant equals to 0 okay okay now if we fill up this formula we will get as lambda cube minus trace is basically the sum of diagonal elements so here it will be minus 11 plus 5 is minus 6 minus 6 lambda square plus product of each two diagonal elements so here we have 0 into minus 11 is 0 plus 0 into 5 is 0 plus minus 11 into 5 is minus 55 then we have to subtract product of each two non diagonal elements so minus 6 into 1 is minus 6 minus 6 into minus 1 it will be plus 6 minus 11 into 6 is minus 66 multiply by lambda then minus determinant so for determinant take two seconds and observe what type of matrix is there any common which can be removed so here you can see the no common is there so we have to use the normal way so for that 0 multiply by anything will be 0 minus 1 so here it will be minus 30 plus 36 so minus 30 plus 36 and then minus 1 minus 66 plus 66 0 so here we will get as plus 6 then the answer will be minus 6 here it is minus 6 okay equals to 0 so if we resolve this we will get as lambda cube plus 6 lambda square then here we have minus 55 plus 66 so we will get as plus 11 lambda then plus 6 equals to 0 okay now we have this cubic equation so we will get the three roots basically we will get three eigenvalues okay so for this cubic equation we have two method method one is the method what we actually used to do and the second one method which we don't know and this is my favorite method because it can give you the roots in just three to four seconds okay first we will see the first method so what this method one says is we have to first guess the one root and using that root we have to get the other root so basically we used to use the first root as my one minus one or two or minus two among this we, we used to check for the first root okay so if we put one we will get all positive so one cannot be if we put minus one so here it will be minus one plus six minus eleven plus 6 so here you can see minus 1 minus 11 is minus 12 plus 6 plus 6 is plus 12 so minus 12 plus 12 is basically 0 so you can say this minus 1 satisfies this equation so this minus 1 is one of the root of this equation okay and now the, using this minus 1 we have to get the other two roots so for that we will use this table we will write all this uh, 1 6 11 6 okay first element will be directly copied then we will multiply these two elements minus 1 1 it will be minus 1 then we will add these two things 6 minus 1 is 5 minus 1 into 5 is minus 5 11 minus 5 is 6 minus 1 6 is minus 6 so here will be 6 minus 6 0 so we get now the quadratic equation as lambda square plus 5 lambda plus 6 okay now this equation will give you the remaining two eigenvalue so for this the roots will be in such a way that product should be 6 and the addition should be 5 so the roots can be 2 3 okay so 2 plus 3 is 5 2 into 3 is 6 so here the roots will be lambda plus 2 lambda plus 3 equals to 0 so we get the roots as lambda equals to minus 2 minus 3 so here the complete eigenvalue is lambda equals to minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 okay so we get the eigenvalue now we will see the method 2 so what this method says is we have to get three roots which will give the product as this last element and the addition as this second element okay 
so this last element is 6 and this middle uh, this second element is also 6 so we have we have to get the three roots whose so product will be 6 and addition will be 6 so the roots can be like uh, for 6 for to get the 6 the factors can be 1 2 and 3 okay so here we can say if we multiply this three roots we will get as 3 into 2 into 1 so here it satisfies 3 to the 6 into 1 it satisfies the product 1 and now we have to get the addition of these three roots as 6 so 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 okay so this three roots satisfies this equation so we can say thus that lambda plus 1 lambda plus 2 and lambda plus 3 will be equals to 0 okay so the eigenvalue will be lambda equals to minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so here you can see how quickly we can get the eigenvalue directly by using this method too okay now you may be thinking how i derived this method so this method is actually derived from the properties uh, as we know that product of eigenvalues is actually the determinant right and the sum of eigenvalue is basically the trace and trace is basically the second element of the equation right so this is what i have used that product of eigenvalue this product of all eigenvalue should be equal to determinant and determinant is this element and the sum that is basically the trace is the second second element this is what i have used here so that's why i have said that product of all three roots must be equals to six and uh, sum of all three roots must be equals to six okay now we have this second sum this is also the gate sum and here we are given with the matrix which is 4 by 4 and the options are available here now in this type of sum where you have to find the eigenvalue but you have also given with this option so for this type of sum we are not going to solve this sum on pen and paper we, we can directly say the answer of this type of question okay uh, here we know that product of eigenvalue is basically equal to the determinant and the sum of eigenvalue is basically the trace okay so here we know the trace of matrix is 0 0 0 1 so the trace is 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 so basically the trace is 1 right so here we have to find the eigenvalues in such a way that the trace should be equals to 1 basically the sum of all the eigenvalues should be equals to 1 so from this equation you can say which option will satisfy this won't satisfy this this also won't satisfy here the uh, uh, sum will be minus 1 so this also won't satisfy here this d option here we can say the sum will be plus 1 okay this is what satisfies this trace so you can say this d option will be correct also you can check with this determinant so here you can see the matrix is uh, 4 by 4 and here one column is all 0 so the determinant should be equal to 0 that means the product of all diagonal elements should be equal to 0 so here you can see the eigenvalues are 1 0 0 0 so the product will be 0 so so you can say this eigenvalues also satisfies this second property also so this d is the correct option okay okay let us see the third sum we have this matrix and we need to find the eigenvalue of this matrix so here we have also provided with this option so in the sum where we have the option we won't solve as i have said earlier so here first we will check what is the trace the trace of this matrix is 0 plus 0 plus minus 4 that's so the trace is minus 4 so here we have to check the option where the addition of all the eigenvalues is minus 4 so in option d 0 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 not satisfying 0 plus 2 plus 3 not satisfying 0 minus 2 minus 3 not satisfying 0 minus 1 minus 3 so this this option is satisfying you can see the sum of all these eigenvalues will be minus 4 so you can say the eigenvalue will be 0 minus 1 minus 3 okay okay so what we can conclude is so what we can conclude is if in the sum if we don't have the option then we will use this formula for 3 by 3 matrix then the formula will be this one and for 2 by 2 matrix the formula will be lambda square minus trace of lambda plus determinant equals to 0 this is for 2 by 2 and this is for 3 by 3 matrix okay so here what you can see is the sign is alternatively given okay so you take note of this okay and the sum in which we are having the option and we need to find the eigenvalue then we are directly going to find the eigenvalue by getting the trace and determinant of the matrix okay that's it for today thank you guys hello dosto agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho to do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you